So hey guys, welcome to what remains of Edith Witch. Don't know exactly. I just oh hello. Oh hello. Right. Um. Oh um I I. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house. Uh, okay, so it doesn't tell me controls, and that was weird. Huh. Sorry, I'm eating a chip right now. Dang, girl, you walk But slow. I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. That's just messed up, bro. Uh, hello? Okay, so R1. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. Huh. Okay. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. <laughs> Smack that over and over. This is a really nice game. Why did they make some multiplayer room, release? My mother left me a key, but. Didn't tell me what I'd unlocked. Oh. Okay. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Wait, which way are we going? We're going this way, my dudes? How do you get to the house? Right, we're gonna. We're gonna, we're gonna take the path. I have no driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few have prints. Well, I have no idea how to get down there, but uh, uh, hello. Hi, dear. Are you turning my light? Wait a minute. He gone. The truth is, even after I inherited the house. I never thought I'd come back to it. But now oh. I have questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. That's one messed up looking house. Ooh, bright house idea. Exactly like I remembered it. The way I've been dreaming about it. Yeah, whose bright idea was to make that? I would be scared to just go there. Oh, it's a truck. I'm already looking through it. What the f is that? What up? Investigation. Investigation. Okay, that's a lawn chair. What is that? Yeah, okay. Can I? Oh. Uh, hello. Huh. The Finches. This girl looking pretty. Uh, not gonna lie. She looking. She look okay. I'll get you. For a drawing. She okay. 1999 to. Oh wow. Okay. So this is back then. This is. She was born. Three years before I was. I'm an 02. So. I'm a 2000 in 02. But. Uh, Milton. Lewis. That must, oh, Lewis is the brother, her brother who died in 2010. Okay. Huh. Milton died in 03. The oldest person so far is 19, uh, is, died in 1937, which is Auden. Ain't it right? Yeah. Okay, Eddie? How? Is that possible for somebody to live from 1917 to 2010? You're kidding me. Oh, the game just gotten a lot darker. Or either it didn't or it did. I don't know what. That's weird. What is this? 
What, you get a nice necklace or a ring or whatever? Okay, okay, this is gonna look pretty chubby. Missing. Milton Flinch. Okay. That's oh, another Milton Flinch. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. Yeah. I'm afraid of the house. I'm the same age as you. Okay, so I walk up there. Let's walk up. Bed ramp. Oh, nice. I hope the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Huh. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Huh. What could possibly this key open? Huh. Ain't no door here. Nope. Welcome back. That was a wind chime. I was like, what do I hear? You... Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Nah, duh. I'd say so. Oh, snap. Smack my desk. Hey, it's a zippo. The power had been turned off the night we left. For the first time in years, I felt like I was home. Really? Okay. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Man. This boy was eating ch Chinese. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. Huh. Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty good. What was that? This game is really nice. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was I like would... a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Ah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. I would not... Ooh. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, there are maggots on that. Oh, I'm not gonna. Bro. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Okay. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. Some bad. So I'm gonna stop. The fireplace had a story. Oh, Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Wow. Okay, so I didn't give it. Well, an uh, introduction or something to this game. So I'm gonna do it now. Uh, what remains? What remains of Edis? Edis Finch. Or Finches. What are? I, dang it. But, uh, it's one, it's a game that you turn around, what I, before I got it, I downloaded it, but, uh, what it said was, you post a travel around the house learning about your family on their deathbed, or something like that. So, I don't think it's no spooky stuff, but, I don't know, I gotta get a horror game to do, but, this is something new. Really new. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement. So I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Crap. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara. 
along with the rest of the house. Huh. What in the... What? That door foamed up and everything. Oh, so that's triangle. So we, I wish I could write out. After Milton disappeared, mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Wow. And Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Edie. I spent a lot of time playing in great uncle Walter's room. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Oh! The key unlocks them. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Hello? Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Go through this bad boy. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. When you look at cat? Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan, but I had no idea what was behind that door. Hello? A closet? Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. It... That was Molly. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Yep. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Her room is... I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here. Before my mom sealed the doors. Wait a minute. Molly. Molly's not on this. Oh, okay. She doesn't live too, too long in my Oh. What's a fox? December 1947? Wait. Yep. Weird. Is that everything in this room? Honestly, not because I can't get out now. What are they next to do? That's not a good sound. Oh. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Ugh. Now I'm playing as a little girl now. Hello, fishy. She's short. Bruh, please don't tell me that was marriage or one. I was not getting high, bro. I'm just kidding. Okay, that's pitch dark. Oh, hello. My Halloween candy was all gone. That's messed up. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. You lock this girl in her room? She even oh, so she even goes to sleep. 
Oh, hello. Let's go. Eating and eating. Don't eat that. Oh, she did. Oh. I ate a lot of things that night. Oh, I forgot. You play as their dead. Oh, please don't tell me you drown yourself. Then I heard chirping outside my window. She gonna snatch this bird up? It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly... I was a cat. Wait, what? Alright, you mofo. Bring your sugary butt back. How do I jump? How do I jump? Come back here. Oh, bet. Got you now. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Bet, you come back here. Oh, I'm just randomly jumping. Where you at? Oh, bet you come back here. I jumped and I almost got her. Bad, you come back. I could tell she was getting really tired. Bad. I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Jesus! Yay! Oh! And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Eh, uh, come here. Can't fly. Back. Come here. Hi. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. Oh. And I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. This game did not give you controls. You gotta figure this out. Hey. A mama rabbit. Bat, come back here, you big fat hog. You. Where you at? Okay, that's messed up. Pull me back up. Thank you. Where's she at? So hard to see. Shouting to dead a winner. <sighs> oh, you gotta move separately. This is messed up. Mm. Mm. I Hi, car. The cliff and into the ocean. Now I was hungrier. Bet you come back here. Yeah. Swimming is so messed up, I swear. I wanted fat, juicy seeds. 
That's messed up. Now go back to the surface. Where'd you go, you seal? Come back. Come back. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Come here. Uh, da, da, da. Grabbed on tight. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. I thought you hear crunching noise, but I'm hungry right now. Uh, uh, man. Oh. Octopus? Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. Great, I missed it. I randomly actually didn't know I did not. Copyright. Is that copyright? Hey, person. Oh, this looks so slimy. I'll watch you die. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Slithery snake. Oh, going up. Oh, that's just went to a toilet. How is that? Hey, you just went to a toilet, my dude. So is that? Okay, there's a door. I got closer and closer. Now this is back in your bedroom. All my stomach started growling. Yum. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. Whoa. Jeez. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. 
We have to fill out all these names. One. Excuse me. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. Then. But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Huh. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Hmm. Yeah, there's that person named Lewis. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Oh, that's what he looks like. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. Okay. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long time long time. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Oh, that's what that was. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Grandma ain't got slack, that's for sure. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Huh. It was a pretty big trace. Oh, she made her mark in the house. Grab that door sealed. Hello. You're 17, you should be taller than this. Shouldn't stand on a toilet. How short are you, girl? There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Bet. That is the most jankest. I swear this girl looks a little chubby. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. Oh, I can barely see that. Never put it down. Barely see that. Oh, okay, so you walk faster. Did this fall? Oh no! She immediately crouched. No. First of all, what is it? Fort Galvin. Bruh. Cigarette. 
This dude with a 10 year old smoking. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. I guess yeah. my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Hold up, hold up. Huh. I got chip dip on my arm. Not the greatest to do. Can I can I get off this? Okay, so let's see. Who will this be? Crap. Uh, oh. Galvin. Oh! He'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Gotta control both feet. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Don't tell me I'm going to eat myself. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Alvin, I'm not going to tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. And maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. Oh, this kid doing already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Oh, I'm getting a little weird. Oh. Bro. Whoa. Oh, you doing this in real life is also very scary. Bro! Bro! That's impossible. The day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. Oh. Oh. ho oh, oh, oh. oh, this story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Oh. Oh. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Oh, okay. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Why so many doorways wait hello I'll say that's heavy the passages were a pretty tight fit They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. We're gonna open that way, but we're gonna go here. <laughs> Excuse me, did I just come out of a drawer? Oh, yeah. hello. I always thought of Barbara as a child star. I did, I just came out of a drawer. 
I never thought about how hard it must have been for her. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Old Jeff here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan, Anne's current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... <laughs> now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums in Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter.
Walter, are you there? Walter, I am vanished. But his pets and radio are still on. Orca's Island Police describe the man as six feet tall, with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> Listened for his breathing, but all she heard was Jesus. Someone at the door was dying to speak to young Barbara. At the door, she heard whispering. Coming from inside the house. <gasps> oh dear. Surprise! Bravo, Bob! You were wonderful. The monsters had come to surprise her. She saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara. She had a taste for stardom, but unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard, but that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the Music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real ear. told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Okay, well, since I think my mic got, kind of got muted for a little bit, and I had a, that's why you saw my party thing open up, but I know if I keep it up recording, I'll end up one of them others to get in here and mess up my recording, so we're going to... 
end it. We've done. We got a total of four people. Edith. You're pretty nice there. I'm gonna lie. Wish I had a girl. Uh, but I don't have one, so. But, uh. We're gonna end it here. And, uh. We'll see you, you know, later on. As I say, peace.